If you are still in doubt what AI can do, just watch this. In Gemini browser, I am typing go to Fahad Mirza's AI YouTube channel and find latest videos. Behind the scene what is happening, Google's new computer use model is running which is a specialized post-trained variant of Gemini 2.5 Pro. It is searching through the web. It is calling that function which is open web browser as you can see and then it is scrolling through it. It is checking various things and this computer use primarily can operate your software via the graphical user interface which means it can click, it can type, it can scroll, it can work behind logins so it can complete real web tasks on sites that don't expose APIs. Right now Google has made it available in preview through Gemini API which I will also show you after getting it installed locally and then we will check it out. So you see it has found my channel after typing it in real time in the Google. It is clicking and it is also uh, just checking the YouTube and all that stuff. I haven't really given it any sign in information. Let's see if it is able to come up with any sign in information or not. It is accepting everything which is quite interesting. And there you go, my channel is open now. I also asked it to do the latest one. And it is now just going um, through different phases. So behind the scene, what is happening? This is a model which is running. This is a specialized post-trained variant of Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is quite cool. If you go through its model card, there are a lot of goodies which are happening. The model card, says that it is using multimodal backbone and additional optimizing optimization for ui control and a knowledge cutoff date of january 2025 there are a lot of architectural detail which i will show you shortly but for now let's get it installed google has very graciously given um, a computer use github repo too and i will drop the link to it in video description this is my Ubuntu system where I'm going to get it installed. Now, the model is not local. You cannot really go and install the or download the model locally. You would need to access it through API, which is primarily free. So for that, all you need to do is you just go aistudio.google.com and then log in with your free Google account and then grab your API key from uh, bottom left as you can see it's a free api key which you can receive um, there are some you know payment options but that is for very very extensive use anyway let me create a virtual environment with conda and i'm just using this ubuntu system if you're looking to rent a vm gpu or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus Let's get clone the repo of this computer use preview that is done. And now let me install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. While it installs, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce to unlock exceptional productivity through a custom AI workforce. Okay, let's go back and check what is happening and everything is now installed. Next up, you need to install, um, you need to specify your Google's Gemini API key. So I'm going to put my key here and then clear the screen. And meanwhile, you can see that my task in browser base is finished and it has got the latest video, which the latest is link 1 trillion. LFM 28 billion, which is correct if you go to my channel. And there you go. So, latest video, the link one LFM 2, it has done wonderfully well. And by the way, if you are there, please like the video and subscribe. And more importantly, please become a member, as that really helps a lot in keeping this channel alive. Additionally, your uh, name and picture will be displayed at the home page, as you can see here. So, please do the favor, become a member as that is highly, highly appreciated. Okay, so let's go back. 
Next up, we need to install all the dependencies with the Playwright, which we already have installed when we install the requirements. And then we need to install Chrome to the browser. You can also go with the headless browser if you like, but let's go with this one. It is going to download and install it. And that installation is going to take a couple of minutes. So while that happens, let's talk a bit more about the architecture and the flow around this computer use model. So the computer use capability is exposed as a computer use tool that runs in a tight perception action loop. The client sends a user request, a fresh screenshot of the environment and a short history of recent actions. The model returns a structured function call specifying the next UI action. It could be click, it could be type, it could be drag, which the client executes before sending back the updated screenshot and URL to continue the loop until the task completes or is halted. The model can request human confirmation for high stakes steps like purchases and today uh, it is at the moment optimized really really good for browsers and somewhat for the mobile apps. At the moment it cannot control the desktop operating system. Uh, so you cannot use it on Windows desktop um, operations but if you are looking to do it on browser or on mobile apps you can use it as i just showed you earlier okay let's go back to our terminal and everything is now installed now in order to run it all you need to do is to run this main.py function from um, the root of the repo with the query to google go to google and type uh, fahad mirza ai youtube into the search bar and once you run this, it should create the session, open the browser, and this is my browser. Uh, you can see that I have exceeded my quota on the back. So this API is free, but the quota is limited, and I have been really pounding it since this morning while making this video. But at least uh, you can see that uh, it worked. This is the quota which I have exhausted anyway. But look, as we just saw, this is something really, really cool. You can build whole application. For example, if you just want to, uh, let's say, get the latest crypto prices or NVIDIA, stuff or any browser task which you could think of, you can simply do with the help of this. So you see, and of, of course, in these ones, make sure you also put in some time information because it could just exhaust the timing sometime. Uh, there are captchas and all that stuff it tries to uh, tackle that as per your custom instructions or cus you know but sometimes it just gets into the loop so it is very important to have some retries some throttling and graceful timeout so that's it let me know what do you think about this very impressive by google as usual and by the way we have been covering these computer use models if i just for example go to my channel and type computer use you will see that we have been covering them a lot in the recent days as i also mentioned earlier we have covered this hollow 1.5 pytpot and various other which are all doing computer use and there are heaps of them this field is also evolving quite rapidly let me know what do you think please like the video subscribe and please become a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support